Hello and welcome to day 23 of 50 Days of Prayer. Today I'm reading from Acts 11 verses 19 to 26 and I'm reading from the message version. Those who had been scattered by the persecution triggered by Stephen's death travelled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus and Antioch but they were still only speaking and dealing with their fellow Jews. Then some of the men from Cyprus and Cyrene, who had come to Antioch, started talking to Greeks, giving them the message of the Master Jesus. God was pleased with what they were doing and put his stamp of approval on it. Quite a number of Greeks believed and turned to the Master. When the church in Jerusalem got wind of this, they sent Barnabas to Antioch to check in on things. As soon as he arrived, he saw that God was behind and in it all. He threw himself in with them and got behind them, urging them to stay with it the rest of their lives. He was a good man that way, enthusiastic and confident in the Holy Spirit's ways. The community grew large and strong in the Master. Then Barnabas went on to Tarsus to look for Saul. He found him and brought him back to Antioch. They were there a whole year, meeting with the church and teaching a lot of people. It was in Antioch that the disciples were for the first time called Christians. So let's pray. Lord, we know that as Christians... There will be times when we are persecuted. However, we are thankful for how we become scattered. And when we scatter, we are spread out and we can share the good news of your son, Jesus, to more people. We thank you for this reading and we pray for that continual courage for us to talk to others about Jesus and who you are. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.